The first one it says um S to be accumulated value of a thousand invested for two years. So one discount semi annually for two years. So we'll make the exponent negative four for S. For T it is a thousand at discount convertible quarterly for one year. So negative four. Now it says S over T is equal to this, which practically means that this fraction is equal to four, right? So what we could do here is that we could get rid of thousands. We also know that there's a common negative four exponent. To get rid of that, we could multiply by negative one over four on both sides to make this negative one. So get rid of these. Another thing is that since this is negative one, we could flip this over to make 30 over 39. We could also simplify it by doing 38 divided by 39, which is uh, 0.974385589. Now, we could multiply it by this amount. Now let's do 0.927435589 minus uh, divided by 4. 0.24 Three five eight nine G equals to equals to uh, this amount, right? Which is one minus V over two. This could be point five D. Now let's simplify. I can move this to the other side by doing 1 minus 0 0.974589 to get 0 0.02564111. So this can be out. Right, this can be out. Now I can move this to the other side by adding plus 0.5. So I'll do negative 0.243589 plus 0.5, which is 0.2564111. One one D, right? Now we're gonna find what D is equal to, right? So it'll be point zero two five six four one one two. So we find out that D is equal to point one, right? Now it says here that this whole S is equivalent to an annual effective rate of I, right? Which is what we're looking for here. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make the nominal annual rate of discount convertible semi-annually equal to an annual effective interest of I, right? So let's erase some, you know, stuff to create some space, right? Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the 1 minus D convertible semi case for S. 
to the negative two uh, for an annual effective rate of i. Right, so yeah, so invested for two years at an annual nominal annual rate of discount V convertible to my annual rate. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to find what I equals to. So first and foremost, we can first plug in 0.1 into D. So 0.1 divided by 2 is 0 0.05 minus 1. This would be 0.95. So then I do this too. Right, negative 2. Then we're going to do subtract 1. So it's going to be 10.8%, which will make C the final answer. 